directly talk to Trey about it, but Kyle and John said that they had talked to him and everything. And I mean, me and Trey, honestly, I, I know that a lot of stuff gets made in the media like that, but we have a good relationship, man. It's, uh, everyone could say what they want and everything, but I mean, we went through it last year. It's very similar to this situation, so it's not like we haven't done it before. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little skeptical about this report, but it's still something that I would like to discuss nevertheless, but I usually like giving you guys that disclaimer in the event that it's a shady report. So the original source from this report is Sports Illustrated, and we're going to jump into it real quick. Before we get to the content, I'm trying to get Micah Parsons to follow me on Twitter. If you want to help me, link to that tweet is in the description down below. Leave a like, retweet, etc. Now that we get all that out of the way, break! My, ah, dang, I gotta stop doing that. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? A week ago, I was really bummed out about this because this was like the day before I was good enough to make videos again. My energy was absolutely in the gutter and I really wanted to bring a video to you guys about this. But it was the day that Jimmy Garoppolo decided to agree to a $6.5 million contract from the San Francisco 49ers to be their backup. I thought that this was one of the most unique and wonderful moves that we've ever seen in NFL history because it does one of those things that doesn't really show up on the stat sheet. You see, every single time a brand new quarterback comes into the league or anytime you're trying to develop a rookie QB, you can never discount the importance of having a good veteran backup in order to help that new quarterback. Carson Palmer was freaking pissed in the mid 2000s when the Cincinnati Bengals didn't bring back John Kitna. Aaron Rodgers is very, very much tight with his own quarterback room, even though Jordan Love is supposed to take the reins from him within the next couple of years at least that's what i'm assuming and hell in the case of jimmy garoppolo and trey lance i have to admit for jimmy garoppolo's shortcomings he's handled his entire situation with trey lance with absolute class you didn't hear a ryan Tannehill like quote about not being responsible for malik willis's development in a quarterback room in the same room you know we're we're competing against each other we're uh you know watching the same tape we're, we're doing the same drills uh, I don't think it's my job to mentor him, but you know, if he learns, learns from me along the way, then and that's a great thing. I didn't get that type of vibe from him at all whatsoever. As a matter of fact, Jimmy Garoppolo has been fairly quiet about his entire situation with the San Francisco 49ers. And when they were able to bring back Jimmy on a backup contract, one, Jimmy didn't really have much leverage in this instance because it was either that or get cut entirely. And two, there wasn't much of a market for Jimmy Garoppolo either. On top of that, I think the San Francisco 49ers, depending on the play of Trey Lance, because obviously the quarterback position is a huge wild card for them this year but assuming that goes well and I honestly have a lot of confidence in the 49ers just based upon Kyle Shanahan's offense being very quarterback friendly and just the weapons around Trey Lance like Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, George Kittle they have that great offensive line you have Kyle Shanahan's zone running scheme as well which is pretty much his dad's running scheme but like souped up and on steroids I have a lot of confidence that this is a team that could be a Super Bowl contender this year if they were able to make it within one game of the Super Bowl last year then just imagine this year if they get some type of improvement in QB play. This could be a team that very much does make it to the Super Bowl. And that's before I even mentioned their incredible defense, especially if Nick Bosa stays healthy. This is a team that has Super Bowl aspirations, in my opinion. Having a backup quarterback in those instances is absolutely crucial if you want to make that run. Now, here's the thing. Apparently, according to Sports Illustrated, Trey Lance was a little annoyed by Jimmy Garoppolo's brand new contract. So this is what the article says says, per Sports Illustrated's Albert Breer, which I trust Albert Breer a ton. I didn't even know he was part of Sports Illustrated, to be honest. Trey Lance was a little annoyed in the immediate aftermath of Jimmy G signing a restructured deal to stay with the team. After the 49ers lost to the Los Angeles Rams in the NFC Championship game in January, the expectation was Garoppolo would be traded at some point during the offseason. There's even this video of Jimmy Garoppolo saying farewell to the San Francisco 49ers faithful. And uh, yeah, I'll miss you guys. Thank you guys again. Faithful, thank you very much for everything. Uh, it's been crazy, man. Just uh, all the comebacks at Levi's, comebacks on the road, ups and downs. It's, it's been a hell of a ride, guys. I love you guys, so. 
So here's my initial thoughts on this. And apparently Albert Breer actually goes on to clarify this statement a little further. Why would Trey Lance feel annoyed or threatened by Jimmy Garoppolo's presence? I mean, I don't think that's necessarily the greatest mentality to have going into your first season as a franchise QB for a brand new team. I mean, you had a whole year to sit behind Jimmy G, see what he does right, learn the playbook, work on your mechanics, all of that stuff. Clearly this team is yours. Clearly, every single time Kyle Shanahan was asked if this team was Jimmy or Trey's, he said it's Trey Lance's team. There's zero chance that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to start for them this year. So the fact that Trey Lance is a little annoyed by Jimmy's return, I'm a little shocked because my initial thought was Trey Lance would be happy. You have your mentor now. But originally, you were watching this guy get ready. Now you have this guy holding clipboards and giving you advice as to how you should carry yourself throughout your career. A guy that watched watched Tom Brady of all people, a guy that was mentored by Tom Brady is now mentoring you. That's honestly a remarkable opportunity. But the fact that Trey Lance is a little annoyed by Jimmy Garoppolo's return to the San Francisco 49ers might be an implication about how much confidence he has in himself as the team's starter. If he views Jimmy Garoppolo as a threat to his starting position, that is just a testament to how confident he feels in himself. Now, personally, I am going to say it over and over again. I think Trey Lance is going to have a great season. I think he's placed in a remarkable situation to succeed, probably the best position to succeed out of every single quarterback that was selected in the 2021 NFL draft over Trevor Lawrence, over Zach Wilson, over Mac Jones even, and certainly over Justin Fields. His team is the only one out of all of the teams that I mentioned that is a legitimate Super Bowl contender with him under center. But apparently Albert Breer actually went ahead to clarify, so maybe I'm misunderstanding this. So according to Albert Breer. He said, while I heard Trey Lance was a little annoyed in the immediate aftermath, he's a smart, mature kid who I believe can handle it. Truth is, if he couldn't, you might have bigger questions about where the Niners are at the position. Breer said that his initial wording started to generate some chatter on social media. So before I give my second impressions, let's just make sure I'm understanding this properly. He said, I think it's important to make sure and let people know what I meant when I wrote that. I think from what I understand, Trey Lance's reaction was pretty natural. I think it's complicated news for him to take. One of the reasons I use the words immediate aftermath is because I think in the immediate aftermath, you're probably processing a lot of things when the idea comes up. I think what was the most important about it, and this is my feeling on it, what was the most important about it was the Niners were upfront with their guys about it. After discussing it with Jimmy, the idea of it, the concept of it, and making it clear to Jimmy, if we do this, Trey's going to be our starter. And then discussing it with Trey, and then going to the leadership council and informing them of what what they're going to do and they felt comfortable moving forward with it. So this is kind of shocking to me because again, I was expecting Trey Lance to say, yes, now it's my turn. It's my time to shine. I have my mentor from year one. He's still here. I mean, very similar to Patrick Mahomes and Alex Smith. I can't believe I forgot to mention that in the very beginning of this video, but now it's like Alex Smith didn't get traded. Alex Smith is sitting behind Patrick Mahomes and actually watching him. And I think Jimmy Garoppolo is a very intelligent quarterback that could be a very similar level of mentor to Trey Lance as Alex Smith was to Patrick Mahomes. But it seems like that's not even being mentioned in this article at all. And Albert Breer has more to say about this, saying, I know everybody is looking for some level of drama to tear the situation apart and turn it into something that it's not right now. But I do think the Niners, their ability to communicate clearly with their players on this sort of thing, I think is what's going to carry them through. So do I think it was easy news for Trey Lance to take? No, I don't think it was easy news for Trey Lance to take. I think it's something, if you're him, you ask a lot of questions about. But I think in the end, because the Niners did get in front of it and were pretty clear in communicating to all the guys what the plan was here, I think they'll end up being fine in the long run. So I didn't expect this to be a situation at all. I didn't think this was something that was going to annoy Trey Lance. And maybe it's just because I've never been a football player. I've never been in a locker room. So maybe I don't understand the dynamics. Maybe Trey Lance has the right to be threatened. And maybe it's not supposed to be how I'm perceiving it, where Trey Lance is viewing Jimmy Garoppolo as his mentor that gets to stick around for another year and help him develop a little bit more. Maybe I'm incorrect in that regard. That was my initial thought when Jimmy G did come back to the San Francisco 49ers. The fact that it was going to give Jimmy G the opportunity to ride out the year. If he has moments where he needs to come in and take over for Trey Lance, if Trey Lance gets injured, then you get a limited window of seeing Jimmy Garoppolo play really good football. Not too much so where Jimmy G could mess up, but enough to the point where teams are going to say, oh, this Jimmy Garoppolo guy is pretty good at slinging the rock. Maybe we should pursue him this offseason. And if that doesn't happen, then 
at the very minimum, people would view Jimmy Garoppolo as a stand-up guy to have in the locker room, which is what the perception of him right now is anyway. So let me know in the comment section down below. This is a very interesting report at the very least. What's your impression of it? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.